Hello and welcome to the Matthias iOS Development Show with me, Matthias, your iOS developer. And today I'm going to show you how to make amazing own custom view frames for debugging. And I uh, had a good night's of sleep. Got my coffee right here. Let's do this. Now, uh, if you can see this, I got a very basic app in SwiftUI running here. We got some text, we got some custom frames, we got some, we got an icon here. And one issue I've run into with uh, SwiftUI which is, you know, an embarrassment of riches because look at this. You can only ever see one view frame at the same time. And by this I mean you click onto an item in the canvas or you click on it in the code and you see this nice little red border around it. And this shows us, okay, this is where the item is and goes. So this text here, we're having it at 30% of the screen width. And uh, this other text, for example, we have at 60% of the screen width, and this is pretty neat, but we, on, we can only ever see a single one, which, which is a bit annoying. And another thing you can do is uh, you can run this entire thing into the simulator. So let's just deploy this. It might take a second. And while this is running, you can go back to Xcode and you can click debug view debugging, show view frames. And what will then happen is you get this nice little border around each element. But this is also rather insufficient, as in we do get a border, but this is more like the text bounding box, right? And you're not actually seeing where the frame goes, or you're not seeing an H stack. If you can see, this is this one here. And um, especially when making really complicated views with like 10, 30 elements stacked on top of each other, uh, this becomes a bit insufficient. So I created my own system to work around this. And what this is, is um, we have this view modifier and it's called colored debug background. And we can just append it to pretty much anything. Append it to the H stack, append it to these texts, append it to this H stack, append it to this image. And let's run this entire thing in the canvas and what you now get instead of a single border around each element you get a nice total color a nice random color around each element where you've put this uh, view mod modifier around isn't this neat and the neat thing is uh, you can you can put this pretty much around everything we got this around the image here we got this around the text itself you still get a, you still get a standard red border around it but we also have it around the h stack and this will become really, really, uh, really, really useful and really, really helpful. Uh, the moment you start putting in, the moment you start putting in very complicated views that nest into each other, that lay on top of each other, and to see how they actually align to each other, especially with uh, with stuff like shadows. Interesting thing you can see here. Uh, of course, these have to go into the right hierarchy. So on this H stack. I have it after the padding, so anything after the padding gets colored in the background. And on the lower H stack, I put it below the padding. So uh, we actually don't see where it fully goes, so let's put it afterwards. And now it goes, th now it goes this here. And uh, we can of course tweak this. The way this works is we have our custom view modifier, color debug background. And um, what this does is it just gives you a debug color, uh, a background. What this does is give you a background color with this random debug color function, which I have. And what this does, it um, creates a random color, it creates a new color with hue, saturation, and brightness. And each one of those is a random number. Now, I like HSB, hue, saturation, brightness, because um, this, is, this is more humanly understandable than doing RGB. Of course, if you want to do this, you can also do a red, green, and blue if you want to. And um, you can set the range, like how, how big the color is supposed to fluctuate. If I set this to 0 0.4, it will fluctuate a bit more. And you can set the default color as well. So hue goes from 0 to 1. And this is the, this is the color itself. So 6.3 is about bluish, which I liked. Let, let's try out 0 0.2 and see where that ends up going. And we just rerun it, and nice, 0 0.2 is a more green, greenish, light blue 
deeper color. And the fun thing, the, the, the great thing about this is if you're running this on the canvas, you will always get a new beautiful custom, um, custom color assigned. So if I just add another text down here, and the string reloads, then the colors also get reloaded and they fluctuate completely. Uh, they fluctuate every every reload. So your brain won't get used to seeing like this weird color in one corner maybe, and then you tend to kind of forget about it. And what's also important about this is, um, you know, the colors should look weird in your tester because they are for debugging, they're just for testing. Yet we're taking those out afterwards. And what I've noticed is, for example, you have an app with a red color scheme and you have a red random debug color in there, kind of your, your brain could get used to it and, um, and and start to overlook this. But yeah, this is an amazing way to uh, help you debugging your views and view frames in Swift, and I love it so much, and I'm using it in all of my projects. Here's the code again. I'm going to put this one on GitHub as well and link it in the description below. Uh, you, can, you can, of course, clean this up if you want to and uh, attach it into your own uh, into your own into your own system right now this is all in one file just for presentation purposes and yeah that is it thank you so much for watching uh please press the like and subscribe button i need 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of continuous view viewing until i can set ads on this youtube channel that's that's a tough goal that'll, that'll take that'll take a bit so i need your help to accomplish this and uh, go, go follow me on Twitter if you want to. I'm Matthias underscore coach to see more examples of this. And I'll see you next time.